Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing my April favorites, which I'm a little bit behind on, but we're just going to ignore it. So I have a bunch of favorites to share with you guys, and I actually this month have a few fails that I also want to share with you guys. So if you are interested, then just sit tight and we'll get right into it. Put it on me. So my first favorite, which is a favorite literally every single month since I found out about this service, is Scentbird. And no, this is not sponsored. They do send these to me for free. I feel so grateful and lucky for that fact, but if they didn't, I would buy it myself. This is a $14.95 $14 subscription service for perfume. And you get a roller ball size, a 30-day supply of perfume, and you can also buy your own little like tubes for them to come in. I literally have so many. I have a black, I have a rose gold, I have a white, I have a purple, and then I have this one as well. I have so many of them. And they have over 450 different scents to choose from, and they're always adding more monthly. So if you have a favorite designer or luxury perfume, you're going to find it there. And if you have one that you want to test, date before you marry, this is an amazing service to do that. It's so affordable and you get a new scent every month, which is kind of what we want anyway. We're always wanting to change up our perfumes and our scent and try new things. So this is amazing. And honestly, if you are like me and you don't get out too often or you don't wear perfume too often, this supply lasts a long time. You can take it out. This is the size of the perfume that you get. It tells you what the perfume is on the side here and you can just put it right back down in there and you can twist it closed. Good to go. Travel friendly. It's an amazing service. So I always promote them because they're just amazing. There's free shipping. You can choose from a different different kind of casing anytime that you want. They are sold separately, I believe. But this is just awesome. And this time, I've gotten so many different scents from them, but this one may be one of my favorites. This is Montel, I believe, and it's called Roses Musk. So when you first sign on to the site, you'll fill out like a little survey of what you're kind of favorite scents are or your favorite undertones whatever and it'll find a perfume that matches up with you so it's really easy it's really quick I love it so much and I would highly recommend checking it out if you haven't and I also have a 25% off coupon code of course it's not affiliated I promise I don't get anything if you sign up it's just for you guys to get 25% off the first time signing up which makes it so much cheaper than it already is Okay, now I want to share a few skincare items that I've just been kind of honing in in the month of April and I've really been loving. The first one is from a company that I have been using for well over a year and that is Beverly Hills MD and this is their Repair and Reverse Daily Serum. I've really been liking this. It's kind of like a white cream. It's almost like a milky consistency and it's really been doing wonders for my skin because my skin has been needing a lot of help recently, which stinks, but it is what it is. Beverly Hills MD is a little bit pricey but their stuff is so good. The next thing is also a well-known company and that is Tatcha and I use this. I loved it. I set it down. I started using other moisturizers and kind of just got away from it and in the month of April I went back to it and haven't been using anything else and this is the Tatcha Balance Pore Perfecting Water Gel Moisturizer it is more for people with oily skin. It sinks in. It's got like 24 karat gold flecks in it. It's very pretty, but it sinks in very quickly. It keeps you moisturized, but does not cause you to be greasy in any way throughout the day. So I really, really do like this. Of course, another item that is super pricey, a lot of skincare is, which really stinks because it's like the most vital thing that we need. And the last thing is from Patchology, which I did a sponsored video for. I've just really been loving these. And these are their Flash Patch Eye Gels. These were so good. They are so good. I'm halfway done through them. I'm going to repurchase them once they're gone. There's just no way I want to go without these. They're everything that I need in an eye patch or an eye mask, if you please. They only take about five minutes to use, and they just really help me reduce the puffiness under my eyes. It's a godsend, and they all come in one little thing, which is what I like. So I like everything about this. They're affordable, no problems here whatsoever, and I've been using them all month. So definitely a great find. I always wanted to try Patchology. I was so excited to be able to work with them just because I watched them since I first started my channel three years ago and I was like oh I want to try them. I want to try them and I kept forgetting and then they finally wanted to work with me and I'm like yes and I'm just even happier that the products were up to par so that's always a plus. All right let's move on to makeup before you guys kill me. The first thing is dirty. It's so dirty because I use it but this is the Flower Beauty Sponge. You guys I love this. It is the best sponge that I have, that I own, and if you watch me on Snap, you know I own about 50, 
probably more of all different kinds all different companies this is my favorite it is a little expensive i think it's like eight dollars a little over eight dollars closer to nine dollars worth it i will repurchase this every time it is so soft it is so good. It comes out very clean when you do wash it. And I like that it has a slant on one side, which is really good for your under eyes. It's just all around perfect. And I was shocked to find a drugstore beauty blender type thing that is just, I think it's as soft as the original beauty blender. I'm going to say it. I just am. Now the next thing is actually really inexpensive and I've just I can't live without it and it's from Profusion which is a very very affordable brand and this is part of their like eyebrow kit which comes with a bunch of other things and I believe that it's like under six dollars but I use this out of it and this is three colors it's two brow colors and then it's a highlight like a brow highlight and this brow highlight is no joke you can use it with any look you do it's like a complete eyebrow look with the whole kit that this comes with but this powder has been a lifesaver I showed you guys in my get ready with me's recently that I use a micro pencil for the like middle to back of my eyebrows and then I use this powder for the front and it just makes them look more natural and not boxy so I love this powder so much can't go without it and since it's so affordable I can repurchase it literally whenever I need to so this is definitely a huge favorite the next item is also really affordable and it has just been kind of vital to me and it's from elf let's blind you with my dirty ass packaging this is their beautifully bare total face palette it comes with two blushes a bronzer and a highlighter now I'm not gonna lie I usually only use the bronzer but the bronzer I've only been using since I got this palette. I love it. I'm wearing it today. I wear it constantly. I went one day in April not wearing this bronzer and it was a complete disaster. So I love this. It's very, very fair. I think it would only work with fair type skin or people who want to bronze but don't really want to look like they're bronzing. This is going to be perfect. Now let's move on to some lip products I've been loving. Wet n Wild, the liquid cat suits. You guys, these are so good. I got three, but two I've just really been stuck to. This one is in Rebel Rose, and this one is in Give Me Mocha. And these are two of the prettiest colors ever, and they go with basically every look that I do. So I've been loving these so much. They're great liquid lipsticks. Now, when I don't really want things too matte, which is a recent kind of month of April love, Kevin Aquan has had my back. Now you guys know that they recently sent me their Molten Lip Colors, which is kind of like a lip gloss, only nowhere near sticky. They're just like a silky glaze you can put on top of lipsticks, lip liners, or liquid lipsticks, and it gives you a really nice shimmery sheen. It looks gorgeous, and it's nowhere near the consistency of a lip gloss, which makes me very happy but they are $30 a piece so out of all of the ones that I got this one I've been using constantly and this one is the rose gold one it is sold out but they I guess they're restocking constantly because these molten lips are like flying off the shelves of Sephora and I see why and it's the rose gold one that everybody seems to really love and then the pure white one which I don't have that one I have the rose gold one and this one has been every thing so I've been loving this and I think I'm going to put some swatches up on my Instagram because some of you have been asking me to but I know that they're super super expensive but oh, so good. A mascara that I've actually been in love with the whole month of April I got out of my glossy box. I talked about it constantly and get ready with me. This is from a company called Doucet. I believe that's what they call they're called. If I say it how it looks I'm gonna say something that doesn't sound very nice. This is their MAC Lash Volumizer Mascara. It's got an insane wand you guys. I said that when I opened it when I first saw it in the thing. You can't even really see it up close. If you watch my glossy box, I show it up close. It's insane. But what it does for your lashes is also insane. This is crazy. One of the best mascaras I've ever used. So this was definitely a love in the month of April. Now Kevin Aquan also sent me out their Neo Setting Powder. And I can't help but fall in love with this. Now it wasn't exactly what I thought it was going to be. It wasn't just a brick of setting powder, you guys. It is like their glow, their matte and glow setting powder. So one side was a matte side and one side was a glow side. And I did a little bit of a oops and it get ready with me and just went all in and went all over my face. And that is not what you're supposed to do with this product. So now that I know how to use this and I'm kind of dug into it a little bit, this is the best product 
forever. I can use this side, which is, it's not technically matte, but it gives you that beautiful lip from within glow. I can use that side to set, and it's so silky and so amazing on your face. I can't even explain that. And then this side is just so glowy, you cannot use it as a setting powder. You use it as a highlighter, and it's one of the best highlighters I have used in a very long time. It is so, so pigmented, so beautiful, like the... I mean, one swipe, one sw I mean, eh, and people were saying it was an overspray, but I've used this countless times, and it ain't an overspray. It's not an overspray. This is just a crazy-ass product. It's like $58, but I've paid around the same price for a highlighter, a little bit less, and it wasn't anywhere near this, and you get two types of products in one, so this was definitely a huge, huge favorite. And then I have two little eyeshadows that I've been loving this month. The first one is from Becca and I actually got this in a friend mail. Could not be more grateful. It took me a while to try this out just because of the color scheme. Now this is their Ombre Nudes Eye Palette. Looks like this and it's just a bunch of browns and at first I was like okay but when am I really gonna do a full matte brown look you know so I had it in my drawer and I just kept reaching for bigger palettes that I used like the whole palette in one and kept forgetting about this. Finally started using it in April. Oh my god. These shadows are gorgeous. So creamy, so blendable that every time I need to darken up my uh, outer V, every time I need a transition color, I mean I've been digging in to this palette using this outer one, no other side, outer one here to set my eyeshadow primer with. I mean, this palette is insane. And I see why so many people were raving it up. This is an amazing palette. It's been a huge love this month. And then Eve by Eves. Oh, Eve by Eves. This palette is super expensive. I would only recommend it on promo days. It's so gorgeous. You get 10 shades, but they're kind of like stuck two in each pan and I don't really like that but the shadows I'm wearing it today it's what I did with my look today I love this these shadows are so pigmented so creamy there's no fallout there's mattes there's different colors to do completely different looks in this you're not missing anything within this palette even though it's very small you're not missing anything to make multiple complete looks so I'm completely happy with this and I've just at first, I was like, you know what? It's very pretty, but I don't know how much I'll use it. I've been using it all month. All month. All right, a blush that I have been stuck to this month is from Estee Edit. And I got a couple of PR packages from them, and not a lot of their stuff really stuck out too much to me to continuously use besides their blushes. Their blushes are insane. This is from the Bearest, it's called the Bearest Blush, and it's 01 First Lover. This is for every warm tone lover out there. This is, oh, it's so pretty. Now, when you first get it, there's like a splash of gold across it, which is an overspray, but it's so pretty. I, it, I just instantly was like, oh, I love these blushes because of the look of them. But it does go away, but these are so beautiful. So I'm wearing it today. I should probably share that. I'm wearing it as a blush today. I'm usually wearing this. Like, I love it so much. So much it just melts into my skin it's very easy to work with they're not the cheapest they're not the cheapest but I love this I mean Estee Edit gets kind of a bad rap so when there's a hit from there I really want to share it with you guys and my last favorite is also from Eve by Eves and it is their nail polish you guys I cannot stress enough how worth it and amazing their nail polish is I haven't used another nail polish brand besides Eve by Eves since before April and this is their velvet rose or rose velvet collection is $35 it's a luxury brand so it's a little bit pricey you can get them on promo you get five plus a gel top coat which you don't need a, a UV light for or anything like that <sighs> they're just so pretty I show all of my manicures on Instagram they're gorgeous they're gorgeous a very velvety creamy kind of formula one to two coats max I mean, the shine from the gel top coat is insane, and they don't chip, and they just last forever. So I love those nail polishes. think they're completely worth it. So if you're a nail polish hoarder and lover like I am, I would definitely check them out. All right, now let's talk about some fails. Fails-a. 
The first one's from Broadway. These made me so mad. They were $3 each. You can find them at the Dollar General. And I thought that they were beautiful. And I'm like, oh, I can't wait. And we did a get ready with me on them. And they were horrible. Horrible. The fallout was horrible. There was barely any pigment. Some of them hard panned. I mean, it was bad. It was really, really bad to where I'm probably going to toss these very soon because I wouldn't even pass these on to my kids. Like, I wouldn't even give these to my daughter. And I usually don't, I'm usually not that harsh about products, but $3 or not, I was expecting a little bit more out of these. A little bit more, like, to the fact where you could even just use them and have anything that showed up. So these were a total fail for me this month. More fails for me are coming from BoxyCharm in the month of April. And it was the pure sponge set that we all got and were really, really excited about. We also got a light blue one that came with it. You got three of them. They're worth like $35 or $36. And we're all like, oh my god, that's so amazing. It came in BoxyCharm. These suck. I heard so many bigger YouTubers, and I still do, raving about these sponges, and they're horrible. They're hard, they are silicone-y, they're like rubbery, and you get them wet, and they do not, they do not get softer. And I think that these are just baking sponges, and that's why they have such a sharp cutoff on them. And I think that that's all they're good for, is baking with them, which Nikki don't do, okay? I'm aging fast enough all on my own. These were a complete disappointment. I can't even use them. And my last fail is a skincare fail. And this is so sad because I love this company. And this is from Derma E. And I was really excited about this. And it just didn't work out for me. This is their purifying oil-free activated charcoal moisturizer. Which is actually black. And that was one of my problems. I usually love all of their products, you guys. Their, their um, vitamin C line is amazing. I loved everything from them. And I got this line from them in a PR box. And I was like, ugh, perfect for me. You know, oily skin people, oil-free, charcoal. We love that kind of stuff. So I got really excited. This is literally a black moisturizer. And it doesn't sink into your skin very well. And I always noticed that I was seeing dark streaks on my face that looked like dirt. And it was this. And I tried very hard to be very mindful of my rubbing it in when I was using it to see if maybe it was just user error. And it's not. It was constantly like that. The, the charcoal part of it just wasn't sinking into my skin like I wanted. And it was leaving this cast on my face and making me look like I was cleaning out chimneys. And I didn't like that at all. So this didn't work for me. Um, other than that, it wasn't greasy or gross or anything. It smells amazing. But the charcoal in it, the black... It just didn't work out for me and it was kind of weird. So that was everything that I've been loving and a few things that I haven't been loving in the month of April. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of these products and what was your favorite or major fail of last month. Thank you guys so much for sitting around and watching this long ass video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe before you leave and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.